so you already know how B cells develop, right? Now, let's get to know a little more detail about them. Shall we? Did you know that some B cells are known as T independent activation? This happens when they can be activated without the help of T helper cell. However, most of the time they need T helper cell. So, what will happen after B cell activation? They will differentiate into three memory B cells. They store immunological memory. Regulatory B cells will regulate other cells to prevent excessive inflammation and autoimmunity. Lastly, plasma cells launch antibodies to attack invaders. Have you read about the topic today? Miss Lisa, how do antibodies attack the invaders? There are four ways. Neutralization, opsonization, agglutination and antitoxin action. During neutralization, the receptor on the surface or target is blocked, neutralizing them. The target is coated to help phagocytes recognize the invaders in opsonization. To enhance their phagocytosis, the target are linked together into large clump to immobilize them. In agglutination, in antitoxin action, antibodies will bind to toxin produced by the target, rendering them harmless. Hope this helped you to understand that.